we're here with Glenn Friesen, Provincial Forage Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture Food and Rural Initiatives, and we are talking about the importance of fertilizing your hay fields. Uh, it's very important to fertilize your hay fields if you consider that most of the nutrients removed in the field uh, from an acre of land are in the stem and leaves of a plant. And if you're removing hay crops, that's where the bulk of the nutrients are going. For example, when you compare a cereal silage stand to a, a grain field, uh, you're moving up to 50% more nitrogen and phosphorus and up to 400% more potassium and 100% more sulfur. So a big number is coming off a hay crop. And if you consider the, uh, the amount of nutrients removed in a ton of alfalfa, um, you're at about 60 pounds of nitrogen. Uh, also about 60 pounds of potassium, 15 of phosphorus, and about 6 of sulfur. So a lot of nutrients coming off your hay crop uh, each year, and that's in one ton. Average yield in alf of alfalfa for Manitoba is somewhere in the range of 2 to 4 tons, sometimes as high as 5 depending on where you are. Uh, so that can translate into about $50 a, a ton in fertilizer without counting the nitrogen. If you include the nitrogen, you're upwards of $77 a ton just in the value of the nutrients in the bale. Okay, so any recommendations for timing uh, or type and uh, application um, means? Uh, it, it's for grasses, your main focus will be on, on nitrogen um, and uh, potassium. Um, phosphorus is, is, is important. Um, and for alfalfa, we're really going to focus on, on your phosphorus and potassium. Um, if you're going to apply those, it's best to apply them together. There has been studies shown that when applied together, there's a bit of synergy happening. So you actually do get improved yields when you have combined nutrients. Um, the first thing, of course, the most important thing to do is a soil test and see where your soils are at. Uh, it's really just a shot in the dark if you're not sure what levels you've had in your field for the last number of years. Uh, a bare minimum of at least once every two or three years uh, of soil testing is recommended. Um, and as far as timing is concerned, uh, well, we're, we're thinking ideally a spring application for nitrogen to get, uh, get your grasses going. Uh, in the case of alfalfa, I see most people putting their phosphorus and potassium down after the, between the first and second cut. And the largest challenge there is that the soil is often a little bit soft to get on it first thing in spring and you want to be careful about damaging those, those, uh, those crowns. So uh, between the first and second is a good place to start. Um, uh, what many do on, in the case of phosphorus is get loaded, preloaded onto the stand before you actually seed it. And uh, that allows you to put two or three years, maybe four years of, of, of nutrients on ahead of time. Of course, that's uh, making sure you're within your uh, nutrient application regulations. Um, Any idea for manure if, you're, if manure is your fertilizer of choice? Same can be said for manure. Ideally, we get that on beforehand, uh, but uh, between the first and second cut uh, does work. And uh, we just want to make sure we're, we're not putting on too much and smothering the plant. Uh, in the range of 30 to 60 tons is what I've seen some producers uh, apply. And that, of course, depends on the moisture of the solid manure. And the range of 3,000 or 6,000 gallons of, of hog manure, typically on the lower end of that range. All right. Thanks so much, Glenn. You're welcome.